A day after King Charles III was anointed and crowned as the King of UK, celebrations continue in many parts of Great Britain. Leaders from around the world have sent in their wishes to the royal couple. Our next report gets your wrap-up of all the events as they unfolded. Take a look. Young and old, Britons and foreigners, world leaders and commoners. Tens of thousands of people amassed in London on Saturday for the coronation of King Charles. They were there for different reasons. Many older visitors wanted to show support for the monarchy. Some young people said they just wanted to witness history. Others just wanted in on the big party. Some clergy of England and to the churches there committed to their charge, all such rights and privileges as by law do or shall appertain to them or any of them. All this I promise to do. The things which I have here before promised, I will perform and keep. So help me God. This ceremony for the king and queen consort Camilla dates back a thousand years. And the pomp and pageantry bring obvious similarities to the processions of the king's mother, Queen Elizabeth, who died last September. But this particular ceremony is also trying to display a forward-looking monarchy, with leaders from all faiths present and participants reflecting a more diverse United Kingdom, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak himself being the first UK leader of colour and its first Hindu leader. Pledge my loyalty to you, and faith and truth I will bear unto you, as your liege man of life and limb. So help me God. But there were other signs of how the monarchy has changed. Prince William, for example, pledging his loyalty to his father here while his brother Prince Harry had no formal role in the event after their highly public falling out. He and Prince Andrew, who quit his duties over the Jeffrey Epstein scandal, watched from the third row behind working members of the family. Polls show the British public generally approves of Charles as king, and the majority still support the monarchy, although young people are far less interested. And there were protests, as there often are at events like this, including the arrest of an anti-monarchy leader and several others just hours before the coronation. Graham Smith's organization, called Republic, said it was going to mount the biggest protest against a monarch in modern history. London police said it would have low tolerance for disruption. The group said hundreds of its picket signs were also taken. For those who do support, a display of magnificence, with over 4,000 soldiers on parade from 39 countries. Maybe not enough magnificence to hold the full attention of Prince William's young son, Prince Louis, seen here yawning as the festivities kicked off. For more on this, Oveon's Molly Gambhir has sent us this report from London. Take a look. Months of preparations, elaborate security arrangements, and the quintessential royal pageantry. King Charles and Queen Camilla have been officially crowned in a once-in-a-generation event, a coronation ceremony that London witnessed after 70 years, a lot of fanfare, celebrations, partying, and protests. The entire city saw thousands of people on the streets just to catch a glimpse of the royal couple, wave out to them, and celebrate the occasion. On the other hand, there were also questions over the relevance of the monarchy in today's day and age. Also, spending millions on a ceremony like this at a time when the UK has been dealing with a cost of living crisis. Molly Gumpy reporting in London for We On World Is One.